Okay, Cassie, do me a favor and pick out something on this site so I can add it to my order and get free shipping. No, I don't need to spend money on clothes right now. Come on, my treat. Really? Yeah, you can pay me later. Then that's not really you treating me. Don't be ridiculous, Cassie. It's me training you by helping you revamp your wardrobe. You need serious help. I rather like my style, thank you very much. Well, as long as you're happy being alone for the rest of your life. What? Nothing. You know, if I had a nickel for every time you were mean to me, I'd be a trillionaire. That's not true. Okay, a bazillionaire. I'm not mean to you. I literally just offered to help you with your wardrobe. Yeah, but you weren't very nice about it. I totally was. I could have been more honest and said your fashion sense reeks like weak old eggs, but I didn't. That's it, right there. Hey guys. Am I, am I mean? Uh, yeah. I didn't ask you, Nelly. My answer still stands. Uh, Nelly and I just wanted to see if one of y'all would measure us. Have you ever noticed the height difference? I am not mean. You're feisty. I'm not feisty. Then you're sassy. Oh, I kind of like that. That's not a good thing, Sophie. It hurts people's feelings. Well, people either need to have less feelings or not let them get hurt. Oh, hey, Gabby. Hey, Sophie Claire. How are you? Pretty good. I have a question. Okay, I may have an answer. Do you think I'm mean? Yes. I'm asking Gabby Reed. Well, I'm answering on behalf of Gabby because you know she's way too nice to tell you the truth. Is that true? Um, I, uh... Let's just say I've never met anyone like you before. Ugh. They think I'm mean. I'm so not. I'm just royalty. They don't get it. Can I help you with something? <gasps> uh, you scared me. Uh, sorry. It's fine. How much of that did you hear? All of it. Can I give you some advice? You can, yeah. Try treating people the way you want to be treated. You can start by giving me some privacy because I know that you'd want that. Right, sorry. Rise and shine, Cassie. I've laid out your clothes and breakfast is ready in the kitchen. What is going on? It's time to get the day started. Am I dead? If you mean based on how you look right now, maybe a little, but we'll get you all fixed up and ready for school. I think that was an insult, but I'm too distracted by the smell of- Bacon? Your favorite, right? Wow, yeah, thanks. But why? Why is it your favorite? I'm not really sure because honestly, I prefer sausage. Why are you being so nice to me? Oh, well, I'm just treating you how I want to be treated, and I want to be treated like royalty, so here's that. Hurry up, get dressed. Your food is getting cold. Oh, this is really great, Sophie. Thank you. Of course. I hope you took notes. There's a couple things I want to change about this morning's content, but for the most part, you can keep it the same. What do you mean? When you do this for me tomorrow. Huh? I'm treating you how I want to be treated. Bryn. Morning, guys. I'm taking your advice, but Cassie isn't responding correctly. Oh, Sophie, I appreciate the effort, but this isn't how that works. If you're only doing nice things for me to get stuff in return, that's still mean. There's that word again. When I said treat others how you want to be treated, I meant handle their feelings how you would want them to handle yours. Speak to people how you want to be spoken to. Well, I want to be spoken to like royalty. Then speak to others with the same respect. But I think most of us wouldn't mind if you left out words like your majesty. Oh, okay, I get it. But I really had my heart set on pancakes for breakfast in the morning. I will make you pancakes. Great. Thanks. Hey everyone, Nelly here. I just wanted to remind you that you should join us on Patreon. It's a really great place to get behind the scenes and exclusive access to Mixy Pixie 7 content. Here's a shout out to some of our supporters on there now. Also, don't forget to send me a letter before my P.O. box closes. That'll be happening this summer. To start off, I got these really sweet letters from brother and sister Jonah and Elizabeth. Thank you guys so much for writing me. Both of your letters made me smile, and I loved your illustrations. I appreciate you guys so much. Summer Girl 2009 is on my Patreon, and so that in itself means the world to me. And then for her to take the time to write me a letter also just speaks so much. So I appreciate you, girl. I love you. Have an awesome day. Hi Kat, thank you so much for this letter. It was so good to hear from you. I hope that you're having an awesome day. And gosh, I wish I had some meetups coming up, but unfortunately I do not. And the shirts on my Etsy store are normally $10 and then $12 for the long sleeve, but I don't know if I'm bringing those back anytime soon. 
Guys, look how sweet this letter from Sophia is. <laughs> I do not deserve your support, girl. Thank you so much for writing me. Next, I wanted to show you this letter from Reese. She did some awesome drawings and then sent me a picture of her doll family. So cute. I love it. Thank you. And here we have a letter from Layla. And look, she made me a doll-sized vacuum cleaner. Nellie is going to love it because if you didn't know, that's her favorite chore. This letter is from Dolls in the Meadow, aka Rivers. I appreciate you so much and I hope that you're having the best day. Summer's almost here. Hang on. You've got this. Okay, Riley, I see you in your handwriting. Also, your letter was really sweet and these posters that you made for the dolls are amazing. Thank you so much. Next, I wanted to share with you this letter from Bella. It was also really sweet. And by the way, I love your name. And also, it's such an honor that you've been watching my videos for so long. And finally, I got a letter from Steven. Shout out to you for being amazing. I hope that you never stop doing what you love because other people don't have the same interests as you. Keep staying strong. I love you. Thank you for your support. Have an awesome day.